Hey folks, Jeff here at Back to Country. It's Thanksgiving and with Thanksgiving, you gotta have turkey. So I'm gonna show you how I do my turkeys, at least one way I do them. We're gonna inject it, smoke it a little bit, and then finish it out in the oven, similar to how I do a brisket. So this is how you can do a, get a good smoke flavor on a turkey with a real cheap smoker and uh, it's just an easy way to do a turkey so let's get started obviously the first thing we gotta do is get this thing out of the bag it's been defrosting for I don't know I think a month we left it just sitting outside <laughs> smells a little ripe nah just kidding <laughs> we defrosted it for a couple days in a cooler so it should be good and thawed and uh, just want to get it out of the package, remove all the giblets and everything from it, and uh, then we're going to inject it. The big thing to remember if you've never uh, done your own turkey before, remember to remove the giblets. You don't want to leave that stuff in there also. Uh, Check it for ice. Even though we've been defrosting this thing since, uh, what, Monday we got it out? Yeah, we got it out on Monday. Today's Thursday. There's still some ice left in it, so uh, amazing how long these things will stay frozen. And uh, take out the neck as well. So we've emptied it out. Now what I'm going to do for uh, injecting... There's a whole bunch of different seasonings out there you can use to inject your turkeys. Uh, I have a few favorites. Um, CajunInjector.com, I believe, is one of the companies. They make some really good flavors. And uh, Tony Saturas. These companies may have even uh, joined together. I don't remember. But uh, this is a Creole butter. And Cajun Injector also makes one called Creole Butter. Like I say, the companies may have merged now. Uh, I'd have to look that up and see. I think maybe I heard something about that. A couple of companies merging. So, bottom line is, it's a real good flavor sauce that uh, is good injecting uh, turkey or chicken. Uh, just about any type of fowl, I imagine it would be good. Basically, just take your bottle, shake it up. Now, they typically come with a uh, injector. Uh, you'll see it, you know, wrapped around the bottle. And that makes it real simple. If you do it all the time, then you typically have a drawer with several injectors in it. I've even got some fancy injectors, but I tend to use these cheap ones more than anything. Uh, it's, again, pretty simple. I will take my injector seasoning and pour it into a little bowl or a cup or something just so that I don't stick my dirty needle into the jar because I'm not going to use the whole jar on this one turkey. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one, uh, what I'm going to call a 50-50. I'm going to do one side of it in the Tony, Tony Saturez Creole Butter and then the other side I'm going to do in uh, Frank's Red Hot. So if you like buffalo wings, you can take Frank's Red Hot or Buffalo Sauce, any of those, and uh, inject that into your turkey, and it gives it basically a, a buffalo wing type flavor. Uh, it's really good. Now, if you... Uh, well, it's not working out good. If you inject one of these... I'm going to do it on the smoker and then uh, and then from there we're going to put it in the oven in a uh, in a poultry bag, a big oven bag that's uh, made for turkeys, so it's giant. And uh, that's how we're going to finish it out. If you uh, wanted to do something different, I mean you can inject this and uh, do it in a deep fryer. So if you like your turkey deep fried, then uh, same thing. Inject it with the seasonings that you like. And then uh, do it in your deep fryer. You can also 
Uh, if you get a small one, now our rotisserie uh, will handle about a 10 pounder comfortably. If we get bigger than that, it's, it's a challenge. So I tend to try to get a small one if I'm gonna do it on the rotisserie. But uh, that's a real good option as well. It comes out delicious. As far as injecting, I'm just kind of moving my needle around in there and filling her up with uh, this injector seasoning. It's not really difficult, not rocket science. Just shove the needle in there and inject away. Know where your, your uh, meat is, you know. You got your drumstick, your thigh, breast, wing now that breast is huge it's all along here so you got to inject it more than once and then your your wing and wing drumstick get that and uh, that's all your major meat parts unless i forgot something i'm pretty sure that was it so that gets this whole upper section of the breast and then I'll hit again to get that lower section. One of the good things about injecting your turkey is it really, uh, by having the seasonings and everything inside of the meat, it number one, it really cooks into the meat well, so your meat will have a good flavor to it. You know, if you like your... Uh, your food spiced up with lots of flavor. This is a great way to get that flavor in there. And then the other thing is that it keeps it really moist. So, you know, typically if you have problems with dry turkey, you're overcooking it. That's the number one cause of dry turkey. But uh, another way to combat that is to inject it. And uh, by having that injector seasoning in there, it just, you know, adds moisture to the, the meat and makes it extra delicious in my opinion. And you can see when you pull it out, it leaves like a little hole and sometimes the back pressure will push some... Uh, injector seasoning out that little hole so what i like to do when i see that coming out i just take my thumb and rub it a little bit and that kind of closes that hole back up and uh, keeps all that seasoning on the inside so it doesn't just leak out and i've got a little bit left here that i'll just figure out where to put it i've pretty much injected everything but I can't pour this back into the bottle, obviously, because it's contaminated. So, I'll just put a little extra in the breast here. Since the breast, the white meat, is typically your drier meat anyway, uh, injecting it a little more heavily will just make it that much better. So that's the... Uh, Tony Saturez butter, Creole butter. Now I'm gonna do the other side with some nice uh, buffalo or Frank's Red Hot. You know, we put that beep on everything sauce. <laughs> and whether you use the original or uh, the buffalo sauce, any of those, whatever you prefer. I mean, at the end of the day, that's really the flavor that you're giving it is kind of buffalo wing type flavor. And I like that flavor. And that's kind of a cool thing too about doing the injecting. You can... Uh, you can do a 50-50 like this where you do half the bird in one flavor, another half in another. And in all honesty, I mean, if you had other seasonings you wanted to put in there, you could honestly uh, inject even by body part. You could make every body part a different flavor if that's what you wanted.
think you get too many flavors though it might get a bit confusing you can see when I injected that it wrapped all the way around so that's going to be a good drumstick and how much you put in there is really up to you I typically put whatever I can get in there if you put too much it tends to just run back out but uh, I do like my meat to be full flavor So uh, put the leftovers inside the cavity, can you? Yep, uh -huh. yep, that's another option too. If you got some leftover <clears throat> sauce after you've injected it all and you just dump it inside. I mean, it's all gonna add flavor to the bird. Just be kind of sauteing in its own juices. Now, if you do that on the rotisserie, a little bit harder because it's turning all the time, so it tends to dump all them juices out. But like this on the smoker and then in the oven, it'll do just fine. So I think that's pretty much uh, we've injected it all. And uh, next thing I like to do, I like to season the outside. And so I'm going to take a uh, Cajun shake seasoning also from uh, I believe that's injector.com and uh, a Cajun injector.com and I'm gonna sprinkle that over the whole outside uh, just to give it some some more flavor that way uh, you know everything's full of flavor So, Cajun Injector, and uh, like I say, I think that's CajunInjector.com online. I buy this stuff, you can get it at Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, Academy, uh, pretty much most of your sports stores, and occasionally you can see it at like Walmart and different places like that, but I don't see it at Walmart much anymore. They tend to carry the Tony Saturas. But it's all good. Just get you a good coating on the outside. I like to sprinkle it on good and then kind of pat it in so it sticks and doesn't just fall off because it's a dry seasoning. So the turkey's generally a little bit moist and I'll make it stick. Now, if you don't have a smoker, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to smoke it. If you take this same thing and put it in one of those uh, oven bags, you take your oven bag. I think you put a little bit of flour inside of it and shake it up so it doesn't stick to the bag. And then you put your turkey in there, seal it up, and put it in the oven. Cook it for the required amount of time, depending on the size of your turkey. And uh, voila, you got a good turkey. Now, if you wanted to add some smoke flavor to it, and you don't have a smoker, you can try a little bit of liquid smoke or something. I've never done that on a turkey, but I have done it on other stuff, and it, it does add smoke flavor. So that would be an option to rub it down a little bit with some uh, liquid smoke and then put your seasoning on top of it put it in your oven bag and cook it that way uh there's about a million ways to skin a cat stick with us let's see how it goes
Okay, our charcoal's uh, getting hot. I'm just going to position the turkey here on the top grill. Our uh, drip bowl we filled with water. The main reason I do that is just to uh, create steam and keep lots of moisture in the meat. I'm not trying to dry it out. I just want to give it the smoke flavor. And so then we'll put the lid on to cover it. Now this is about, you know, one of the cheapest smokers you can get. I've had this thing since like 1995, so uh, it's old. We took some uh, hickory chunks, soaking them in some water. And I'm just going to put those into the fire. And they're going to uh, start to burn. And that's going to create some smoke. Close that up. Clean my little gauge off so I can see it. And right now it says warm because I just put it on. It hasn't uh, heated up yet because we just put the lid on. So it's it's a lot warmer than it says. But it'll come up into the ideal range. And we're just going to uh, come out about every 30 minutes. Probably add some more wood to it so that we get a good smoke going all the time. And I'm going to smoke this for about an hour or two. And uh, we're not doing high heat or anything, so it's really not cooking it that much. This is really all about getting the smoke flavor on it. And then we're going to finish it in the oven. So stick with us. All right, we've been going for about a half hour and our temperature is way up in the hot zone. So we still got good smoke coming out. We don't need to do nothing to it just come check on it we'll let it keep on cooking that temperature should come down a bit and then we'll uh, put some more smoke to it Alright, so it's been uh, about 2 hours and 15 minutes. We ran a little over time because the oven hasn't been available. Miss Lorena has been cooking very busily. Lots of food. So like I say, the turkey's been on here for a little over 2 hours. And uh, it is not ready yet. It has definitely got plenty of smoke flavor. I mean, you can see the color and everything of it. But now it's got to go uh, into the oven to finish cooking. So we're just going to take this off of here. We're going to transport it to the kitchen. And we're going to uh, put it in an oven bag, seal it up, and finish it out in the oven. Alright, so uh, I don't know, two and a quarter hours I think on the smoker, about an hour at 350 degrees in the oven. It's all done, good to go. It's looking uh, extremely juicy. I think it's a winner. It smells good, oh man. get it cut there now all that pink and everything that's the smoke ring that's penetrated into that bird and of course the meat is all dark meat here so cooked beautifully moist tender not overcooked so we're gonna call that a winner 
That'd be the best drumstick ever. We're gonna get this thing carved up and eat it. So there's the breast. I mean, it looks perfect. Nice and moist. Good color. This is the uh, Creole butter seasoning side. But just like it should be, perfect. The key thing about a good turkey is when you're cutting it and the juices are just coming out of it like crazy. It just shows you that it's not overdone. You want it to be just juicy. That's just beautiful. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect.